Hey guys, how's it going? Brian from Brian Boas here. I just want to do a quick update video. I want to give you guys an update on the status of my 2020 breeding pairings and how they're doing. We'll go have a look at some pairings in a minute here. But so far, so good. I have a few potentially gravid animals. Um, at least one post-ovulation shed on the ground or an apparent post-ovulation shed. I have a few others that are still actively courting and you know hopefully we'll get a shed from the female in the next month or so and then i have a few others that i've separated and i'm going to feed and then i'm going to reintroduce them so as of right now it looks pretty good that i'll have at least a few successful breedings for 2020 so why don't we go and take a quick look at the boas and see how they're doing right now now check on the Tarhumara pair, they're still together and the male's been courting the female pretty much non-stop for the last few months. Uh, so oh, they're still kind of together. I don't see any obviously they're not copulating right now. Um, the female hasn't entered shed yet so obviously I'm going to leave them together for now. They were separated about a month and a half ago for feeding. I'll probably wait about another week, maybe separate them. And maybe the female will go and be going to shed by then. So the female, um, two years ago, the same pairing bred, and I believe the female shed sometime around early April. So fingers crossed that this should be coming pretty soon. I'm gonna check on my Peruvian pair, and you can see the female is out about I think she probably wants to eat now um, I actually fed her about three weeks ago I separated them and they've been together just for a few weeks since then so obviously no activity right now there's the male just chilling out there I have seen some signs of at least courtship from this pair um, and sometimes these Peruvians don't go until later so I might not you know if I am successful with this pairing I might not get a post ovulation shed until May or even June. You know, sometimes these baby Peruvians can be born as late as October, you know, which is the, pretty much the latest of the boas that are born in my experience. So, fingers crossed. I know these guys are kind of a long shot. Um, I paired, I had a pairing last year that was unsuccessful with the Peruvians. So, hopeful that this will be better. It was actually the same female with a different male. Um, so we'll see. Now I'm going to check on my hog island boa female. She went into shed about a week and a half ago and I separated her from the male. Let's check on her. So, oh, it looks like she's shed. So I believe this is the post ovulation shed. Uh, let's see, I don't want to disturb her too much. Um, well, she, you know, she's been looking pretty thick lately so pretty good feeling that she's grabbing now just gonna let her rest there but now starts the countdown it'll be about 105 days or so until she gives birth if this is indeed the post ovulation shed but she actually had her post ovulation shed two years ago about the same time in late march so pretty good feeling about this one well, let's check on my Longicotta pair. These guys have been together for a few months and noticed quite a bit of courting activity. So looks like they're in the hide. Uh, so they're together there. Not sure. I don't think there's definitely no copulation going on now, but uh, looks like the male is still courting the female. You can see the male is kind of on top the male will kind of try to mirror the body of the female and sometimes you see them with the male's head is right above the female's head so these guys are still in the uh, activity but hard to say when it's gonna when I'm gonna see a post ovulation shed um, so I'll just give these guys a little more time and hopefully we'll get a shed within the next month or so I'm going to check on my Pearl Island boa. 
boa constrictor sabogae. So I actually separated the male and female a few days ago and I fed them the other day. Um, I had seen a lot of copulation, but they look like they, or not copulation, courtship, looks like they kind of were taking a break. The female actually shed about a month ago, which it's possible that was her post ovulation shed, although not completely sure. Um, she may be grabbing now. She looks a little thick. She's not, she's kind of coiling. Not the classic coil of a gravid boa, but possibly. Um, with these guys, I'll probably wait about a week and then pair them up again, see if there's any more activity. Usually when the females are gravid, the males just lose all interest. It's another sign that you have a gravid female if the male just suddenly loses interest in, in courting her. Now check out on the, the crawl key boas and I've actually seen quite a bit of good signs lately. I actually haven't disturbed them so the cage is a little messy now. I just don't want to disturb them right now and it looks like the male is doing something um, on top of the female there. And I have seen, I'm pretty sure I witnessed copulation the other day with these guys. They kind of ignored each other for about a month and a half and then they've last couple weeks they've really been going at it so that shed there by the way that's not from them I actually used another male shed from one of my other boas stuck it in there it's just a trick that you can use sometimes to stimulate your boa to mate if the boa is not showing any interest and not sure if that's what did the trick but um, just glad they did this this pair actually wasn't successful last year the male had no interest in the female and he actually had only acquired them a few months before, so hopefully this will be a better year for these Kral Kibos. Let's take a quick look at the Tamanama Venezuela True Red Tail Boa. I actually separated the pair the other day. The female actually shed, which I'm fairly sure is her post-ovulation shed. She's over there on the heat spot. So she's just kind of on top of the heat spot. Not the classic coil that you see sometimes, but definitely look like she's trying to conserve the heat there. And you can see she looks kind of thick around the middle, so hopeful that she's gravid right now, but we'll have to see. I'll probably feed her a small meal in another day or two, um, and then probably pair them back up just to see what happens. Typically, if the female's gravid, the male has no interest which is a really good way of telling if your female is gravid yet. So that's how my 2020 breeding trials are going right now. I hope this was helpful to you. If you are potentially interested in further notifications of the status of some of these pairings, I would recommend that you subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel so that you can get notifications of new videos. I plan on updating regular status updates about my 2020 breeding trials up until when babies are on the ground. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.